Well, hey, 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 everyone. Welcome to another video. My name is Warren Howe. Today, we'll be talking something very interesting when it comes to mindset as well and uh, perception, right? Status. I want to talk about status. Now, I was having a jog with my wife, yeah, um, you know, uh, along the, our neighborhood. And we, had, we were actually showing a, you know, uh, a grass cutter, right, a worker to actually trim off uh, grass for our land that we bought, right? It's an empty piece of land that we bought uh, nearby my, our house. And, you know, we, we have to trim it, right? We have to maintain the land and whatnot. And along the way, right, I was actually looking at our neighbors and there was this nice, you know, nice ass Rolls Royce Phantom, right? Sexy as hell. And this used to belong to, you know, this this uh, this house actually belonged to my cousin, right? To my uncle. And he sold it off, yeah? And we were looking at this nice, ha nice car, you know, obviously nice house. And I was asking my wife this question. Uh... What would you what what do you want to buy that you know to tell people that you have reached another level of status? Like what defines your status? What should you buy to define your status, right? And I swear to God, I'm you know gonna link it to stocks, but give me a moment here. And what she answered was she was laughing, right? Um by the way, just you know, just full disclosure, <laughs> I'm a better saver. Right, better well, better investor somewhat uh, than my wife in in terms of saving money, right? And that's why she was laughing. She was laughing. She already know where I'm going to, right? On this, uh, so she said that maybe a nicer watch that I have right now, or you know, uh, a better house that I have right now, right? So we were laughing it off, and this this is actually a question to ponder on. Like, do we need? you know, a nicer watch to tell people that, hey, my status has improved, right? I am now in a higher tax bracket, maybe, a higher income bracket, or, you know, I'm better, bigger money than you. My dick is bigger than yours if I wear, you know, an AP versus the Rolex, right, for example. Um, so, you know, do we need that? These are materialistic things that we need to ask ourselves. And this is an interesting question. Do we need all that? Do you need a nice house to prove people that you're, you know, living it up there? I know we should enjoy the things. In life. What she told me was we need to enjoy the things in life. You make all this money and you can't enjoy it. What's the point? Now, my, I have a different perception. Okay, I'll get to that in a minute. So do we need all this? Do we need, you know, a watch? Do we need a nice house, a nice car, especially? So here's my take. Okay, here's my take. What I, and I told her, like, straight away, after I asked this question, I asked, I, 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 you know, I told her that what makes my status, right? And what I, I, I want to be humble. I want to be low profile. But if people get to know me and, and get within my circle, within my world of, you know, stocks and uh, investing, I want to be showing them, hey, I got 5,000 shares of SoFi. I got 2,000 shares or 3,000 shares of Tesla. Now, that is what I mean by status right there, okay? Imagine this. You have, and I've been addressing this all the way in our group coaching calls, right? I call it poor uncle, rich uncle. Poor uncle buys on lavish, you know, luxury things, not making the money work for him. And rich uncle wears slippers, wears a singlet, right? I don't know, drives probably like a Proton or something like that. Uh, which is a cheaper car here in Malaysia, by the way. <laughs> uh, Perdua, whatever it is. And they have, you know, seven figures, eight figures in, a, in the bank, right? In, in, in the stock market, sorry. In the bank, they have, I don't know, 1,000, 5,000. That's my, that's my definition of status. People cannot see that materialistically, but, you know, on the back end, if they really, like, really dig into our circle and know who we are, what we are talking about, like, my status is more like, okay, I understand this business and industry, you know, from the ground up. That, is, that, is, that, that makes, you know, a huge impact for me because it tells people that, hey, I know my shit and I can make money from the shit that I know. I can grow my net worth, right? Bigger and, you know, within a trajectory that I deem as decent. That is a different status for me. You see what I'm getting at, guys? Because the point is, right, especially, this is very relevant during these times right now. 
we do not want to be overspending, right? We've got to keep some cash in bad times, you know, whatever it is. But the point is, the bigger game plan is, we want to be owning more shares of a higher conviction stock over the long run, right? And I've been compiling, you know, I, I earn my, you know, you, you know the drill, earn your money, save your money, invest your money, reinvest. I've been exactly, I've been doing that exactly, even though if it's averaging up, I don't mind because I know the trajectory of this particular company. I know the fundamentals. I have faith, right? Back then when Tesla, I was down 30 to 40%, right? But right now, you know, I'm reaping the, the rewards. Not a lot of people see that. Now that is status to me. I'd rather have that than luxury goods because, I mean, obviously I'm owning assets rather than something that is declining. It's an asset, but it's declining. Cars are declining, right? Watches are a great investment. No doubt about that. I love watches. But the point is, we need to be having a different mindset when it comes to spending, with a different mindset when it comes to growing our wealth. Because I'd rather work harder when we are young rather than, you know, when we reach a certain age, right? So I hope you got some value out of this today. And this is something to think about when it comes to perceptions, you know, materialistic mindset. What is your status that you want? 10,000 shares of a particular stock that you like, right? Which shows people that, hey, you know what? I got a bigger dick, but you're not actually saying it. So that's the, that's the game plan, right, guys? So I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next video. Like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.